friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tommy and I'm a digital artist and a creator of Webtoon series called Queen of Kemet. I haven't been really active for the past week or two on my social media or here, but I've just been really busy with some things and hopefully I'll be able to get back to art and YouTube next week. During these past few days, I reached out to other Canvas creators and asked them if I could create a video about their series. I did so because I've noticed there aren't as many edits or recap videos on YouTube about Canvas series as there are on other popular webcomics and webtoon series. Don't get me wrong, I really love all the webtoon originals and comics from Tapas or Manta, but I feel like we should all support Canvas creators as well. Now, many creators send their series and I've checked out and read most of them and there are so many hidden gems out there that really have to be checked out. But because I didn't have much time these days, I had to pick out only two series for this video. But don't worry, I'll make more videos and share more amazing series soon. So the first series I checked out was Grayscale. Grayscale is a post-apocalyptic fantasy series in which we meet Zane, a young and cheerful boy that lives in a small city with his family. Every city has a so-called guardian, but these are all actually demons. They trade protection in exchange for something they want, but the demon of Zane's city requires human sacrifices. Zane meets a mysterious girl who introduced herself as Corvus. It's not her real name, and we're still not sure who she actually is, so we're just gonna call her that until the end. So Corvus asks Zane if it would be fine if she stayed in his family house for a while, and he was like, yeah, of course. And that was even after she showed him a cape full of knives. I mean, what is wrong with you, child? He doesn't know the definition of danger. He's so sweet and innocent, like, please protect him. <laughs> and Corvus does the babysitting job. Does she do it well, though? Well, that's a good question. The next day, the whole family and a few friends of Zane's little sister went to a forest to play all day and this forest was supposed to be a safe place for everyone because of the barrier. But a monster somehow got in and may I say, I honestly got chills on this part, like this was so good. And yeah, our amazing babysitter just like grabbed Zane and she yeeted him out of harm's way, like quite literally. And now I'm really excited to see more. Corvus is such a badass and I really like her character. And she also made some deals with demons and there were a few of new mysterious characters introduced. So yeah, I really can't wait to see how the story will unfold. I did a really quick sketch of Corvus in my own style and I hope you like how it turned out. <laughs> The second comedy series I read is Lightning Strike Restruck and it is an action comedy series that follows a young boy, Hoshi Takanashi, on his journey to become the best elemental. I genuinely enjoyed reading this story because it reminded me a lot of mangas I grew up reading as a child. So we have that goofy, laid-back character who has amazing powers and he knows it. So Hoshi uses lighting as his power and he's very confident with it. In the first episode, he goes up to a crying kid and is like, yeah, look at my awesome powers, this will cheer you up. And the kid is just like, lame. And yeah, that like, really made me laugh. And there are many more scenes I found really funny. And just from the first episode, we can learn how Hoshi is not really interested in school and other stuff, other than becoming the greatest with his powers. And one thing I really liked about his personality is how he easily makes friends. He's that character that goes up to a person and is like, we're gonna be besties. And that's how Hoshi met his best friend, Yogi. Later on, they befriend a fire elemental named Hitori. And I'm not gonna say how because I don't want to spoil the whole story. And the three of them go to a tournament organized by EPS, who recruits elementals from around the world. So while Hoshi and Hitori get ready for their tests, Yogi goes with some very shady person who told him he could give him elemental powers. And if it weren't obvious by now, Yogi is not an elemental and he followed the person because he didn't want to be left behind by his friends. Hoshi and Hitori have no problem at all in acing their tests and I just died when the instructor was like, 
he passed his kid and he thought it was just like that was such a mood and i honestly think this story would make such a good manga series and an anime maybe like it's really easy going in the start but i can feel it will get more and more serious as the story continues and i honestly can't wait to see more keep it up this is my take on hoshi and this is just a really quick sketch and i hope you like how it turned out That's it for this episode. As I mentioned before, I was really busy these past few days and I finally had time to catch up with creating videos. I will definitely make more of this in the future and talk about all the requested kind of series. If you'd like to request or recommend a kind of series, you can do so in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all soon.